Hi, this is Attila from Fitok. Now we are going to introduce how to assemble all 20,000 and 60,000 PSI tubing system. Let's start it. So, we need to prepare the tube uh, for this high pressure connection. Now, uh, we are first, we will prepare the tube end. And what we need to do, we need to make a coning and we need to cut a thread. This tool will cut the coning only and this tool will cut the thread only. First, we need to make the coning of the tool. We need to use this tool. Let's do it. To introduce the cutting tool, there are three main parts uh, for this cutting tool. The last one, you can see the knife. This part will, will be making cutting the, the tube end. This part is a holding. I will use this middle part to stabilize the tool. And this part is the mouth where I will fit inside the tube. This will hold the tube. This nut and collet will, will hold tightly the tube. When we use the tool, we need to fit inside the tube around three quarter of this uh, open ending for two purposes. One, we need to have a space the cutting tool to moving forward and second one that we need to put oil on the tube and the cutting knife to make it uh, easier to, 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 to cut and to work on it. For each tube size you should use a special size, the same size cutting tool and the same size of, of cullet. So for this tube, which is 16, 9 16 you should have a collet and a knife fit the same size. Now I am going to assemble the tool. When we place the cutting tool or a coning tool on the vise, we need to make sure that this end will be a little bit lower than this end because we will use oil in the system in two places so this oil will be moving on the surface where we are cutting the cone. For to make the coning I will place the tube inside the tube make sure that when I place it, it should be going around the three quarter to the window place inside, like of this depth. Now the tube is fixed. I will closer the cutting edge to touch the tube ending. This tube, the size is 6 FH6, 9th, 16th. So for this tube size, according to the chart we need to do three and a half turn when we do the coning. How we calculate the three and a half? When, 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 when we turn the cutting tool to the tube ending, somewhere it will stop. We get the number 
here or we get the sign from here so for this sign we need to turn three and a half to, to make the coning perfectly. Let's start it. For the cutting we need to use oil for lubrication for the cutting tool and we need to put inside and on the tube we need to apply the lubrication oil around every, after every turn we are on a little lubrication oil uh, we can start the cutting of the tube ending make sure we have the lubrication ready Apply a little oil, time to time. I finished one turn with the counter. Finish the second one. Finish this third one and now I will make the half turn. I reach the three and the half turn and now the coning is finished. After you reach the three and a half turn to moving the cutting edge and cutting the cone, then after you keep it and just make a few turns, make sure that the tool make finish the coning and removing all the burr. If it's turning freely, then you stop and move the cutting tool backward. Then we need to release uh, the, the holding nuts using the tool. So the holding nut already released, we can remove the tube. and you see the coning is completed. So you can see that now we have the coning of the tube finished. So we will use this cutting tool to fix the tube for cutting the thread. For this fix or holding the tube, we will use this part of the tool, the middle part and the nut. So we will remove the cutting edge of the tool. We will use this part to put inside the tube, fix it and then using the tool to cut the thread.
For the holding part, we put in the vise, insert the tube, and using the special tool to tighten the nut. We are ready to start the cutting. Uh, as we said, the, this tube is 9 sixteenths of the size, so we, we need to be careful that the cutting tool and also this side, the holder part, is 9 sixteenths the size. If not the same size, we can use a hex wrench to change the cutting and the holder, but this cutter is 916, so we can use this one to cut the thread. So this tube and the system we are now introducing is coming with the identification code 6FH6. So this is the code for this tube and the system, and for this system we need to cut thread on the tube ending. For this chart telling us that with this tool, the cutting tool, we need to do 14 turns to, to reach the, the thread depth, the, the reach, the, the number of threads we want to make. So we need to do 14 full turns. So we are now using the 916 cutter for the 916 tube. Place on the cutting tool. And we need to add lubrication oil to the top. and we can do the thread cutting. 14 full turns. Out the lubrication time by time. And one full turn, the number 14. Now the 14 turns completed, we can remove the cutting tool.
the thread cutting is completed. We can check the threads and remove if there are any burr. For this system, for the 20,000 and 60,000 PSI, we are using collar to establish the ceiling. So now we can check if the collar and the thread is fit together to make the ceiling. What we are checking that when we turn the collar down, we need to put the collar down, turn it down enough to leave outside one or two threads. So we can check our job if it's fit and perfect. Now I turn on the collar and I see it is leaving one or two threads here. So we can say that this coning and thread cutting is completed and is ready to assemble.